Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Let's Stay Gamers, and welcome. So today is Thursday, and we all know what happens on Thursday. We've got an exciting new update from the Space Engineers developers, and you're probably wondering what you'll be getting your hands on this week. Well, with the current focus on introducing the oxygen feature, we have got more adaptation to that. So it's very exciting to actually see. We've got some new pressurization features and they've really listened to us and they've started to add the little details to the oxygen feature and the pressurization that makes it really cool. Now, the first thing I want to show you is that the helmet can be taken actually off with a simple hit of the J key. So you can see the J key is actually removed my helmet, really simple, no animation there yet, but still it's a lot easier than having to visit the med bay every time. Now the helmet taken off still works in the same sort of thing. If you've got oxygen in the area, you can actually breathe it and it does less effect on your actual suit itself. And it's been a little bit better balanced as well if you read through the notes. So let's put a helmet back on and we're gonna depressurize this cabin. So if you're a very messy builder or you've not got a full inventory space and you leave items dropped around and someone decides to depressurize your ship. So for instance, I'll get rid of this like so and we'll cut a hole in the side and you'll be able to see how everything is sucked out through there. So you can see how the blocks are actually being sucked out. And the player himself is actually affected a little bit by this. And if any of these objects hit the player, if they're heavy, they might even kill you. So you've got to be really careful when you're grinding into a pressurized cell or you're even trying to board someone's ship because if they've got a little bit lazy or they've decided to, in that area, put a load of some sort of explosive warhead or ordnance, it's going to be sucked out and it's going to kill you. And that's not going to be a very fun way of actually boarding into a ship. A very cool feature. I can't wait to see what they're going to do further with it. Now, another problem that many players actually ran into was getting oxygen into their cockpits and understanding if their helmet was on or off at the time. Now, if we hop into this cockpit with our helmet on, you'll notice that it says on the top left, well, the bottom left in this case, actually, it says their helmet is on. Now, if we hit J to remove our helmet, you can't remove it when you're actually in the ship. But if we hop out, we remove the helmet and we hop back in, you can actually see it states that helmet is off on the side and we can also see if we've got any oxygen aboard the craft itself so that's really cool and it just helps the player work out exactly what they can do with the oxygen if they can take the helmet on or off so now that we're actually aboard henry he's got another little feature installed now this allows us to do this with both small ships large ships, and stations if we access a control panel it allows us to hide blocks so we've got a lot less clutter and we can have the main items that we actually need to access so it's as simple as finding what i want to hide so let's say i want to hide the small thrusters so let's hide all those small thrusters up to that point and then we click off on show blocking terminal and you'll notice that they actually go grayed out like that. Now, if I show hidden blocks off like so, you'll see that they don't even come up anymore on the actual menu themselves. So it allows me to declutter this sort of hood area. I can have access to the really important bits. Say I want a lot of landing gears, access connectors without having to scroll through a large list or even having to search for this function. Now, but do be warned about this that you will not be able to find. So if I search my small thrusters you'll only see the ones that have not actually brought up so if i detect this you'll see that there's a lot more small thrusters that could have shown up on that tab so be careful with this but at the same time it allows you to keep a much cleaner and more neat and tidy sort of hood you could say so we're back on the space engineers menu to have a look at a new feature now this feature took me by surprise i wasn't expecting this now you can see how it says scenario scenario what the hell is one of them well Let's find out, shall we? So we've got Space Engineers Mission 1 with a folder. Okay, and then we're gonna click OK on that and we're gonna load up into this Mission 1 and see what it's all about. So it seems we've been placed aboard a small ship and it looks like we're moving through an area, an asteroid field maybe. Maybe there's some sort of mission. Ship hit by asteroid, large, large, uh, destroyed? Large thrusters destroyed, what's this? What have we got to do? Fix the ship by placing small thrusters. Okay, um, so I guess we're going to have to go outside and place some small thrusters down. So it's like maybe like a bit of a mini mission, it could be. Have we got oxygen in here? I don't think we do. Enemy detected? What the hell's this? Guard drone. Okay, we've got turrets off, we've got turrets on. So I'm not really sure exactly what we're doing. I guess we've got to shoot at these things. I've not got my um, missiles on. Guard drones? That, that's weird. Okay, so we're going around this way. I've got these missile pods, but I'm not sure exactly how the rocket launcher 3 is not working. So my rocket launcher got took out straight away. So all I've got is these Gatling guns. So maybe I need to check that satellite thing. So it might be a better idea if I turn that off. 
can actually have a look around. Alright, so we've gone in for a little bit of a closer look on this satellite. Or whatever it is, it seems like we've destroyed it. It doesn't seem like there's any parts we could possibly use off it. So I guess we've got to head up to the station and find out exactly what there is. We've got the missile launcher damaged, but we'll have to repair that when we get a little bit closer to the station. Now, fingers crossed this thing isn't hostile, so I'm going to disable my weapon so nothing engages. Oh my god, these these sentry drones keep popping up, so I'm guessing these this everyone's hostile in this area. So maybe if we add a little bit of side thrust to it, try to get our machine guns going off. Luckily it's targeting the center of me, and not the side. Oh no, my cockpit's coming apart, and I've been shot out already. This is a hard scenario, maybe we need to bring our own sorts of ships into this thing. Right, so we've run into a little bit of a situation here. The cockpit seems to have been destroyed. Um, the, their enemy drone seems to be dealt with. I'm producing some supplies to repair the little ship up, but I think we're going to go off on foot and actually see exactly what this station ahead actually is. So you can see there's a lot of smoke coming from it. It looks like we shot it up pretty badly. Have we got an assault rifle? So that would be quite, quite appreciated. 150 rounds in the assault rifle. Let's approach this thing carefully. I guess we were supposed to treat it with uttermost care. And there's another ship there that's half built. So we've got the station here. Looks like it's got some timer blocks attached, so we'll have to be careful here. Oh, this looks pretty damn cool. We've got all these connectors connecting things up, and we've got a doorway here on top. We've got to be really careful what's going on. So hopefully there's no turret behind this door. Access denied. So that means it is time for the grinder. Right, so we've just grinded our way in through the top into this station. That seems to be very simply constructed. Maybe it's some sort of outpost. We've picked up another satellite. So this must be like some sort of um, discovery, maybe, sort of world. Maybe it's not a scenario like I first thought of it, but maybe it's something to explore and try to begin a survival of your own off with these different sorts of droids and different sorts of... I mean, we were attacked. So, I mean, this could be something for the possible future. It is an interesting concept, an interesting idea to have a play around with, with these sort of persistent sort of drones that were chasing us around. But I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what a scenario should entail. I mean, you'll have to tell me in the comments below. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Quite an interesting update. Something I didn't expect these scenarios. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.